morning, welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Matt and today we're going to have a walk around our stunning example of the 2009 Holden Astra CDTI. 1.9 litre diesel, we'll get into that a bit more shortly, but first impressions on the exterior of this car is it does present beautifully. Nice chrome grille on the front to give it that distinctive look. Does have the factory driving lights in the bottom of the front bar. The front end of this vehicle does present extremely well. I'm struggling to find any stone chips or marks in the paintwork and being black they do show up if they are there. Now as we come down the driver's side of the vehicle you'll notice that we do have the factory alloy wheel. There's a little bit of marking just right on the outer lip but very very minor and we also have a great condition tyre on the front indicator in the front guard there as well as color coded door mirrors we do have the nice chrome strip down the bottom of the windows just to break that black and also color coded door handles as well vehicle does have tinted rear windows just to give it that really nice distinctive look as we get round to the rear of the vehicle again a great condition factory alloy wheel with another great condition tire on the back for those who will forget, there is a sticker there to tell you it is a diesel vehicle so you don't put the wrong fuel in it. Now as we get round to the rear of the vehicle, again those nice clear tail lights, chrome grills, chrome badging throughout, do have our high mount stop light and our rear window wiper as well as that tinted rear window as well. No marks on the rear bar whatsoever, um, again the exterior of this vehicle does present in extremely good condition. As we move around to the passenger side now, another great condition factory alloy wheel and great condition tyre on the rear. Coming down, we do have a little bit of peeling on the front of this bit of trim plate. Now we've already spoken to our service department and they will be re-sticking that so there'll be no issues with that whatsoever. As we come down the front passenger side of the vehicle now again great condition alloy wheel generally this is the one where you will find any curb damage and looking at this there's a couple of very minor marks but for the aging case on the vehicle they, the wheels do present beautifully so it just goes to show the careful driver that this car has had and again great condition tire on the front so all in all the exterior of this car does present in beautiful condition all right we'll have a look under the engine now and speak a bit more about that 1.9 litre diesel engine sorry i will just turn my cell phone off to stop that one ringing now what you are having a look at there is a 1.9 litre four cylinder diesel that will give you 88 kilowatts of power and 280 newton meters of torque Combined with the six-speed automatic transmission, you're going to get on average seven litres per, the hun per 100 kilometres, which out of the 52-litre tank will give you an average range of 743 k's per tank of diesel. All right, round to the rear of the car again now. As I mentioned before, that nice chrome badge in the Astra, the 1.9 CDTI badge, nice big holding badge and chrome on the back there. If we pop the tail hatch there, just nice little button under there in the middle, what we do reveal is a very, very generous sized boot for a hatchback vehicle. Does have the cargo barrier fitted, which is simply removed by the four screws there. So you just undo them and you can pop that out should you need. If you do do that, the seats will fold down in a 60-40 split configuration to open the vehicle right through to get those longer IKEA boxes. We do have tie down points in the rear, two on each side. So if you did want to secure a load in the back, you can strap them onto there and then the load's not gonna roll around in the boot. Under the floor here, which is carpet in great condition, we do reveal our spare wheel with our jack and all our tools as well. So plenty of usable space in the rear. All right, inside the Astra, quite a nice place to be. The inside does present in great condition. I'm struggling to find any marks. Now started on the driver's door, we do have our chrome handles, a nice accent trim in the door there. Got all our power window controls, our electric mirror controls as well. Little compartment down here to put your mini belongings in, uh, maybe a map or you could put your mobile phone. As we come up and towards the dash now, we've got our headlight controls, our headlight adjustment up and down for freeway driving. We've got our dash brightness control, as well as our fog light controls there as well. On the right hand stem, we do have our indicators, and on the left hand stem, we do have our window wiper controls. 
The steering wheel is height and reach adjustable, so put that in a nice comfy position, lock it into place and you're all set to go. Nice big instrument cluster in front of us there, 100Ks right at the top where it should be, tachometer on the left. Currently the vehicle's showing that we've got 57,681Ks on the Odo, so extremely low Ks for an 09 vehicle. On the steering wheel itself, we've got our volume controls, our track skipping forward and backwards for the CD, or our tune button for the AM FM radio. On the left hand side, we've got um, more audio controls, so you can skip between your AM, FM, auxiliary and CD. And then we've got our master control button for the display that's built into the dash there. That's going to give us information such as our range to empty, our average fuel consumption, the outside temperature, um, we can also flick through and it will tell us, which I saw before, um, might not come up now, but it did say that we'd gone back to 2008, so just going back in time a little bit with this vehicle. Now as we move down from there, we've got our power window locks, we've got our hazard light button in the middle and we also have our sport mode for the transmission, which will just hold it in each gear a little bit longer to get the maximum performance out of that 6 speed trans. Nice big clear air conditioning vents there. As we come down we've got our master head unit for the stereo. So all the master volume controls, the AM, FM, the CD inputs. Moving down front and rear wipers, uh, recirculation for the air conditioning and then we've got our fan speed, temperature and where the air should be going. Little compartment here to keep some coins in for those parking meters as well as a 12 volt socket as well. That brings us to our T-Bar Auto, so nice and easy to use, D for drive, or we can come across to the, to the left and drive it in sports mode, which gives you the ability to drive it more as a manual car without a clutch. Moving back from there, we've got our handbrake and auxiliary input for the stereo, and then a cup holder to keep your can of V in. Now as my cameraman pans around and shows you the interior of this vehicle, I'll get the service book out and I will say a credit to the previous owner, they've looked after the interior extremely well. As I mentioned before, I'm struggling to find a mark and one thing I do like to look at is the hood lining and there's no marks whatsoever that I can find on the hood lining of this car at all. Now, looking at the service books in this particular vehicle, we had our first service done at 3,000 k's, next service was done at 8,000 k's, then we had one done at 22,000. Uh, we've also had an air filter and pollen filter replaced at that time as well. Um, we've got a service at 45, and then we've just done an intermittent oil and filter change when we brought it into stock at 57,628, as well as a 180 point safety check before putting it available for sale. So great exterior, great interior, perfect books, perfect service history, extremely good value for money vehicle. So in summary, that's our 2009 Holden Astra CDTI. Beautiful exterior, great interior, perfect service history, struggling to fault the vehicle at all, won't last long, give us a call on 9907 055, talk to your sales consultant about our competitive finance, also our 5 year premium mechanical protection plans which do now include Platinum Road Side Assistance. That number again is 9907 055, thank you for watching.